So we know the sun's going to rise over that way, over in that direction. So I want to place my uh, my first constructions here. So let's open up the construction supplies. Let's grab the iron frames and the iron sheets we'll need. All right, so first things first, the iron frames, you right click when you have them activated and that gives you a wire frame that you can then use to build stuff with. I'm gonna turn the light on right now so you can kind of see what's going on. It's not very, not very good, but it, it's, it works at least a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try to find a relatively flat area. I think this is, this will have to do here. So let's put the, let's put an iron frame. Now again, this, I want this to, I want the, the sunlight will be coming up over that way. So I want to keep that in mind as I, as I place things out. You can see they, they place down only a certain way. Um, so you have to, that's why I say be mindful which, of where the, uh, of where the sun came up at. Because otherwise you'll get all discombobulated as to what, as to what's doing what. Now placing these frames down gives you an empty frame there, which you then build up as you go uh, with the welding torch and the iron uh, things. There, okay, we need what, one, two, we need three back here and two more, so we need like five. Uh, we're just gonna have to do with this right now, I think. All right, the sun is coming up over there where we expected it to be. Um, so now that we've got this relatively in place, we're going to need some more iron frames, but uh, we'll have to work on that as we go here. I can now grab my welding torch. The welding torch also has a uh, fuel so source in it, so you want to be careful here and make sure you don't use that up either. Use hit O to turn it on, and since I have the iron frames in, or since I have the iron sheets in my hand. You can see you can construct it. Now it goes up two spots. Right now I just need the one spot um, just so we can walk through here, the one the one form of it. But if I hold it down, and I will hold it down in the, in the back here, you'll see that it makes a full construction. So now that we're back in here, I can do the full frame you can see you do hold down twice there and it does it um i don't want to do it yet on the on these walls because you can actually put uh when we when we go and build our when we go and, and build our our airlock you'll be able to put the wiring through the wall and kind of hide it behind the wall so it looks a little bit nicer that's why i haven't done that Okay, so we got that, and I'm going to need, I'm probably going to need a floor here, because I don't think it's going to let me get away with this, or at least I'm going to need two more of these uh, iron frames at the very least, uh, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, our goal is to get some power going, so in order to do that, we're going to need to get some elevation, get up on there, we're going to get uh, solar panels working, oh, I didn't actually do... No, that's all right. We'll, we'll do those later. Uh, get some solar panels working and uh, get that. Yeah, no, I got to do that right now. So let's let's uh, have to do the have to do the walls here or the ceiling here. I mean, let's do that. Do that. Otherwise, it becomes very difficult to put the solar panel on there. I think you can still do it, but it's uh, easier if you just kind of. Do that ahead of time. All right, so over in the construction supplies, we've got glass sheets. Let's put our this away for a minute. We've got glass sheets, we're gonna need those. Uh, battery cell, we're gonna need, and here's our solar panel. They give you one, uh, so you want to take that, you wanna take some glass sheets, and you wanna get up and do probably on top of your base. Uh, where you can get the most coverage. So we'll jetpack our way up here. And I'm going to put it, I think, right here for now. So you take this, right-click with that in there, and 
you get a little wireframe. The wireframe tells you where the power goes and where the data goes. Now the data is on this side and the power is on the other side. I can use the home, delete, insert, end, and all those keys to try to move it around. I'm going to move it this way so I can get to the power a little bit easier. And then you need the glass to fully construct the solar panel. So now it is fully constructed. It's actually already generating uh, power because the sun is is out right now. But it has the power is not going anywhere because I haven't wired up any of the power cells yet. So we got to go put this back. That's the last time we'll need the glass sheets for a little bit anyway. There's a power controller. We're going to need that. And we're going to need the empty battery that's here. Um, but we're going to also need the controller for, well, actually, no, the, I think this is, I think we just need the battery for it. So we're going to take that. Um, actually, I need to keep the battery here for a second because we have to juggle. So I'm going to put the power controller inside the airlock here, just below where the solar panel is, just so it's, it's easy to get at. Um, Fortunately, I don't think it's going to let me put it right on here because I don't, well, maybe it will uh, anymore. Um, but that's just to, this power controller takes a battery and that battery helps to even out the amount of power coming in. Uh, you can work things, work machines without it, but the power is not sort of regulated when you do that. And you'll see your machines turning on and off constantly uh, without this. So here's where... The only use that I've had so far of the crowbar comes into play. You have to take the cover off with a crowbar. And then you take your empty battery cell, you put it in here. Now it's okay that the battery cell is empty because the solar panels will charge up the battery. And then, it, and then you'll run off the battery once there's no power coming into it. We'll turn that to on. It's the master switch there. And the rest you don't have to do anything with, so we'll just... Uh, We'll just cover this back up again, and then we'll put our crowbar away. And now we gotta get our power cables, and then we're gonna go wire this puppy up, get some get some power going in the in this place, if we can, like so. And then another corner one should connect us up here, hopefully. If I can get my angle properly, I've found that if you point your mouse directly at the, let's see, this is not quite in line yet. You point your mouse directly at the, there we go. At the end point, it makes it a little bit easier to manage doing the cable. So there we go. That's, that's some cable management right there. So that should be wired up now. Um, but we won't know until the sun is back up, unfortunately. Uh, and now I could pull wire out of this and send it into the um, into the base there so we can wire up stuff. I'm going to actually do that right now so you can see what it would look like. But basically, I'm just going to take this. I'm going to come back into the wall with it. And then I'm going to come around this way. Construction supplies to box, if I'm not mistaken. Aha, here it is. The charger is, well, that's weird. Looks like it's been placed already. Uh, battery cell charger, there we go. <laughs> Interesting. Um, so we'll grab that and we'll put that on the wall in here. And let's go... We're going to get it facing the right way. Again, all the power and stuff needs to be going the correct way here. So this is the front. So we have the power and data there. So let's put it uh, like that and we'll get the power uh, hooked up to it. So I'm just going to go and I'm just going to drop these over here. <laughs> so that just to get them out of my, out of my inventory because everything's just crowding me right now. Um, and I should be able to simply do a corner one here, like that. 
and how those connect. Excellent. All right, so the battery charger is connected now. Uh, we'll be able to turn that on and charge up some batteries, which we're going to need very shortly uh, because we're going to have uh, once the sun comes up here, I'm going to I'm going to need to conserve my light and uh, my my oxygen get my life support <clears throat> working correctly. So we'll wait until the sun comes up and then I will show you how to deal with the solar panel. All right, so the sun is coming up. <clears throat> you can see over there. And what I like to do is is angle the solar panel so that it will hit the early after, you know, the, the early morning here to charge up, to recharge the stuff. So to do that, we need to get this turned the right way. So I think if I rotate it, yeah, I should probably rotate it to the right too. It's a little bit difficult to get the, the right things here, but let's tilt it upwards first. There we go. So I can get in here a little bit and rotate it right. About 90 degrees, I'd say. Yeah, that's about that's about right. Tilt it upwards. About 90 degrees vertical. Uh, maybe 80 degrees vertical. Let's get that way. It gets a good a portion of the sun. I think you could even try like 70, but this is this should be good here. You can see it's already generating about 300, almost. 400 watts of power. This is what the wrench is for. The wrench is to to modify uh, how this how the solar panels are facing. So just so you know how that works, and you can see through the floor here that this is starting to flash green, which means that it's getting power and it's charging up the battery. So that will be good. Which means if I come into here, I should be able to turn this on, and I can. And we can put our aging, our ailing battery in here now. But before I do that, I need to do a little swaparoo. So first of all, let's get. I'm gonna drop these out of my out of my inventory again. Let's get our PDA here since I don't need that right away. Let's get the battery out of it. So pop that out of there. And we'll do three again. We'll switch back to that hand, that away. And then we'll go to our suit and we'll switch hands again and flip those around. And then this battery cell I'll put in here. And you can see that's gonna start charging up. Once that turns, I think blue, uh, then it's, uh, it's the charge is good on it. And meantime, our our uh, our guy is doing quite well. He's got he's got all his uh, still has oxygen and things. You can see this is now red because it's drawing power out and it's not quite powered up yet. But that's you know we didn't give it a whole lot of time to power up, so that's why that's good doing that. The other thing I've done power wise is I've put down the solid fuel generator that was in I believe the construction supplies two or maybe it was in one. I'm not sure which one. But the solid fuel generator is what you would expect. Uh, I pointed out that coal vein a little bit earlier. Basically, you, you mine coal, you pop it in here, you hit the switch, and it will generate power for you. It doesn't generate a lot of power, um, but sometimes it's enough to help out. I like to do it because I've had problems with the, uh, the airlock system where just having a solar panel... Uh, Keeping the airlock system going is not usually enough power usually. And so I've had problems where you end up getting trapped in here and you have to either cut the wire to and then force the door or you have to do something a little bit more creative than that. Um, this here, by having this here, at least I can throw some coal in there maybe and then have, turn that on and then hopefully that might generate enough power to keep these things powered. So I've started to pull the power through here and I was going to put it underneath the floor so that we have it. I, I want to kind of hook it up to this as well at some point um, or at least I, I want to have another power control unit that so have it on its own uh, kind of power flow. Uh, I need to put in order for that to work though I have to put a battery in it so we'll have to find a battery that's uh, 
We'll have to actually make a battery, which uh, is a lot harder than you might think <laughs> in order to, in order to get to that point. So we'll see how that how that works out. How is this battery doing? As a matter of fact, this battery is not quite charged yet, but it's it's getting there. So we are we are doing things. So that's how you get your basic battery set up. The next thing I'm going to do is try to get some solar, uh, try to get some uh, airlocks going here.